Hey, thanks for coming back this week. And this week on My Own Drum, we're going to make the goodnight bat from Suicide Squad that Harley Quinn carries around. So for Christmas, Pat bought me this blank bat, and we've already done a little bit of work to it. We sprayed it with some lacquer, so it's got a really nice shine to it. Ooh. And that's basically all we've done so far. Today I'm going to finish it up. I've got some supplies here. Got markers. And there's a blue one. Pat's getting me a blue one. Another blue one. He's at the store right now in case I need it. So I'll have two blue ones. But I got lots of red and black. I got a pencil. And I got some of this stuff. Which is basically like... It's a bandage wrap. But I'm going to use it for the handle. Kind of like what I did with the mallet. I'm going to put it around the handle. And then I'm going to paint it like an off-white color. To match the, the movie. So... Here we go. Cause it's gonna be hard to freehand everything. The writing on the bat, I'm definitely gonna freehand. I have my stencils here, and they're a little bit fatter than the actual script on the good night bat. So I'm just kind of making it up with my stencils. I'm using it as a basic outline, and then I just kind of drew from there. But it is about the correct size. So the good night starts about an inch down from the top. And I know the size of my stencil is right. The T's going to end here. Then there's some additional script that's probably going to go to about right here. At that point, I'm going to draw the diamond border in this area. And then the rest of the handle gets wrapped in the bandage. So as a straight edge, I'm going to use some painter's tape just to make sure I line everything up. I'm going to line up the edge of my stencil with the blue uh, line here so I make sure I get it nice and straight. <laughs> All right, so I got this penciled on and whenever you look at the bat, like pictures of the bat, it's outlined in black and then it goes through with the red. So I'm going to outline it in black as finely as I can. Alright, so now that we have this outlined, I'm going to go ahead and color it in with the red Sharpie. Oh, you know what? Nope, I don't want to do that. First, I'm going to erase my pencil lines in here now that the black Sharpie is dried. Now I'm going to color it red. So all of the writing on her bat starts right around the D mark on the opposite side. And I'm just going to start somewhere in here. What I'm going to do first is write all the words out in pencil. And I'm not trying to follow the exact uh, handwriting here. I'm just going to do my own. I think that'll be fine. Yep. All right. Now. All right. So I have my bat taped off where I want the diamonds to be. And there'll be two big blue diamonds. And then these little spots will be red. So that's what we're working on there. See how there was a little bleeding from it. Other than that, it looks pretty perfect. 
So I'm gonna clean that up and then we'll be back to put the wrap on. All right, got that cleaned up. It's looking a lot better, much more crisp. And now, I mean, this is pretty easy. We're just gonna wrap it in this boo-boo wrap bandage tape to give it a nice little grip. So I'm out of white, I'm using off-white, which is fine because her handle's not snow white, it's pretty dirty. Sweet, we just gotta let that dry. All right, here's the finished bat. Some of the script, the diamonds, and then the handle. And now one of the issues I ran into making this bat was finding an accurate script. And I believe I did the research. I believe I found the most accurate script and I'm going to go over it. So that way you don't have to, here it is. I am so psyched to finally uh, get this completed. It's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to make this for a while. And I really like that it's a real bat. So it's gonna look pretty awesome with my mallet here, which I still plan on making a real mallet, no joke. I mean, I got to. I don't know, maybe I will put this somewhere else. It's pretty slick. I'm pretty proud. Yep. And that's all I have for this week's video, guys. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Sunday. And until next week, keep on marching to the beat of your own drum. Peace.